Hey guys, it's Kerry. I'm looking at lots of animals today. The blue whale is the largest animal that has ever lived, weighing up to 190 tons and measuring up to 33.6 meters or 110 feet long. The largest extant terrestrial animal is the African bush elephant weighing up to 12 and a quarter tons and measuring up to 10.67 meters or 35 feet in length. The largest terrestrial animals that ever lived were titanosaur sauropod dinosaurs such as Argentinosaurus which may have weighed as much as 73 tons. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. African bush elephant. It is the largest living terrestrial animal and the largest of the two extant African elephant species. The family unit is led by a matriarch who at times also leads the kinship group. Groups cooperate in locating food and water, in self-defense and in caring for offspring. These awesome animals travel in herds composed of cows and their offspring. Adult bulls usually live alone or in small bachelor groups. The longest known tusk of an African bush elephant measured 3.51 meters or 11 and a half feet and weighed 117 kilograms. Green iguana, they can detach their tails if caught and grow another. They have very sharp teeth capable of shredding leaves and puncturing human skin. They have a row of spines down their back and tail which they use to defend themselves. The tail is a very effective whip. Eastern chipmunk, they have four toes on their front feet and five toes on their back feet. There are five dark stripes on their back. Flying tree frog, they spread out their large web feet and hands as well as special flaps of skin on their legs and arms to help them glide. Poison dart frog, Indigenous people use their poison to coat the tips of darts and arrows. The following animals are part of Schleich's 75th anniversary. Giraffe calf. There are four in the series. A penguin. They are a limited release special edition painting. Kangaroo Joey They were introduced in 2010 and retired in 2011 Piglet Some quick animal facts A giraffe has seven bones in its neck which is the same as us humans but they are much longer The pattern of wrinkles on a gorilla's nose is unique to each one and is known as a nose print and used for identification. Prairie dog. They are fast skilled fighters armed with sharp claws and powerful teeth. Their entire mating season is just one hour long. They live together in tight-knit family groups called coteries. The average coterie tends to have one or two breeding males, several breeding females and the female's new pups. All five species of prairie dog belong to the squirrel family. Sugar glider. They have special skin between their ankles and wrists. When they outstretch their limbs, they use the skin like a parachute to glide from tree to tree. 
Crocodile hatchling. Baby crocodiles are only 30 centimeters or 12 inches in length and weigh 70 grams. Chameleon, its tongue is at least as long as its body, but it can grab prey in a fraction of a second. They are able to change colors by rearranging a lattice of nanocrystals in one of the top layers of skin cells. Red Cardinal Bird They are small songbirds found in North and South America. The male cardinal is bright red. Females are brown with red accents. They have a crest on their head which can rise when they're excited or agitated. Bush Baby or Galagos They are small primates that live in Africa and have thick fur, long tails, big ears and huge round eyes. A vampire bat's teeth are so sharp that its bite may not be felt at all. Their saliva dulls any pain, so a bat may drink its victim's blood for up to 30 minutes. Tiger. Even tigers fighting with each other keep distance. Initially, they would slap each other and wait to take a bite at the jugular vein on the neck of the opponent. Asiatic wild dogs, also known as dolls, may prey upon tigers, but these are rare attacks and are usually counted with drastic losses to the doll's pack. Like most other predators, tigers tend to attack humans only while hunting or when they feel threatened. If a human comes too close and surprises a sleeping or feeding tiger, or a tigress with her cubs, the tiger is prone to respond with aggression. Tigers typically surprise victims from the side or from behind, either approaching upwind or lying in wait downwind. Tigers rarely press an attack if they are seen before their ambush is mounted. Lion, with reproduction, courtship may be initiated by either the male or female. The male will follow the female at all times. He may lick her neck, back or genital area. The male smells the female's urine to assess sexual receptivity. The female invites copulation by lordosis, a reflexive behaviour in fellets. Copulations are brief but frequent, lasting a minute or less and may occur as often as three times per hour. The male often licks and gently bites the female's neck to induce passivity in the female. The male lion's penis has spines that point backwards. During withdrawal of the penis, the spines rake the walls of the female's vagina to stimulate ovulation. Hippo's closest living relative are the aquatic mammals, whales, dolphins and porpoises. There are no male or female earthworms. All earthworms have both male and female parts, but it still takes two to reproduce. Giraffe, they have an average height of around five meters, which is 16 to 18 feet. Their extreme height allows them to eat leaves and shoots located much higher than other animals can reach. In particular, they seek out acacia trees. Zebra, their striped coat helps them dissipate 70% of heat. They will migrate up to 2,900 kilometers searching for food. They are native to over 15 countries in Africa. African elephant, they use their tusks for everything from fighting 
to digging, to feeding, to marking. Elephants have been known to use their tusks to push over trees, which they then feed on. When competing for mates, male elephants will use their tusks to duel against each other violently. Flat-headed rock agama? It is sometimes referred to as the Spider-Man agama because of its coloration. They live in the semi-deserts of Tanzania, Rwanda and Kenya. They can often be found basking in the sun on rocks. Coyote, they stand about 60 centimetres or 24 inches at the shoulder. They are known for their nightly serenades of yaps and howls. Red Fox, once it pinpoints a mouse's location, it leaps into the air to surprise its prey with a strike from above. This pounce is known as mousing. It's a common sight. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.